Hey guys, quick update. The tank is blue now. Um, I got tired of just the straight 10k from the uh, Marineland knockoff lights. Um, I wanted some blue in there and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I checked out their, um, uh, what are they called, the uh, submersible not that I care they're submersible, I wouldn't do it anyways, but they have just straight actinic strips and stuff, and I mean, you'd have to add, like, three of them to even get, you know, like a 14k look or something, they hardly do anything. Um, so what I was trying to do was find a, just one T5 high output bulb for an actinic, and, you know, I was trying to find one used or something, I couldn't find anything for cheap. And I started thinking about it, my LFS had a uh, submersible T5. Again, I don't know why you would want to submerse it, and it being a T5, I mean, they get hot. So, that's just going to leach into the tank and stuff. I Personally, I think it's kind of a stupid idea, but, um... It was 40 bucks for the whole thing, you know, I mean... So, that, that you know, that's, that's not bad, and, uh... I had a four bulb fixture before that just fell apart. I mean, the thing was a piece of crap. It was like 80 bucks new, so, y you know, I mean, I take, you know, take Odyssey or something and then cut that in half and you end up with what I had. So what I did was I took the um, submersible strip, I mounted it to the back of this with just, um, what are they? you know, these little screw hook things, so I can get it back off if I need to replace it or whatever, and at the same time, if it falls in the water, that's cool, nothing's gonna happen. So, um, I put that in there, and then light was shooting all over the place because it doesn't have a reflector. So I started thinking about it, and I went in and ripped the reflector out of my old uh, T5 fixture and just kind of hooked it in here and domed it over, and uh, I think it actually looks really good. Um, as far as the tank itself, everything's doing fine. Um, my cleaner ass disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. I've searched the tank and all around it and stuff, so it was eating and everything. I, I don't know. I guess it happens, you know. And, uh, my clown tang is still doing good. It looks like he's hiding right now. I think I spooked him when I was messing with the hood. Uh... But he's doing pretty good. He's been picking at the nori and stuff. I haven't really got him, you know, picking out on anything yet. But I'm going to soak their food in garlic tonight and see if I can get that to work. Um, I'm hoping so. He's getting along with everybody good and stuff. So I'm happy with that. And then um, another thing, my life reef skimmer again. I finally got the, uh, found the book and read it. And like I said on my last update, I think I had the water level like up here. Um, I read the book and I watched a, if anybody watches the LA Fish Guy on YouTube, um, yeah, he's really, really old school. I don't fully agree with everything that he does, you know, um, but it's still fun to watch. But he has an episode on there where he talks to a guy, um, I can't remember the brand, but they were talking about protein skimmers, and it's like a six-episode series. And, you know, I mean, most of it's common sense and stuff, but he actually explains everything, and it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, they were talking about how, you know, everybody, um, anytime the new fad comes out, everybody jumps on it. Um, that being cone skimmers. And, I mean, yeah, my, my skimmer's really old school. I'm not really considering this in the conversation, but, um, like cone skimmers and stuff, I mean... For them to actually technically work as efficiently as something like an ASM skimmer or something, they would have to be way taller because you're losing all of that contact time. You know, I mean, say, you know, say it comes up like this or something, you're losing out on all of this area over here. And uh, another thing that I found out was that with the Venturi and stuff, you know, everybody runs the water level really high if they want wet skim and stuff. Well the higher you raise the water level, the less air you're able to pull in. 
So what he suggested for this skimmer was to start it out like right about here and just let the foam go up through there and go up through there and stuff and see what happens. Um, if you can kind of see I've got my water level about a half inch below this and I hooked it up last night after cleaning it out and everything so I mean it's still in the process of breaking in but uh, the bottom of this thing is black so right about from there up it's already pulling crap out and stuff and I mean you know every time I every other time I look at it the entire thing's just stuffed with bubbles so um, I'm gonna leave it running like this for a while and see what happens it honestly seems to be working better than it was before so um, might be something to think about I mean even if you know you it's it's one of those things you know any anytime anybody's had a couple of skimmers and they've been using them for a year or two or something they think they know everything um, like I said that video I was talking about a lot of it's just common sense and stuff but I really do highly suggest that everybody goes and watches it um, there's always the chance that you could learn something you know and it's like he was also saying in the video and stuff uh, the LA fish guy asked him why he didn't have a um, uh, drain hose for the skimmer cup and he simply said because I want you to clean the cup you know I mean you can hook those drain lines up and stuff if anything like I think it'd be cool for if you're worried about it overflowing or something like that and stuff but I still the, you have to keep that cleaner you're just gonna keep dramatically losing out on how much skim you're gonna get out because the whole neck's gonna get stuffed up with crap so um there's my clown tang. He's out right now. Seems to be getting along with everybody and stuff. The sail fin kind of shows him who's boss once in a while, but... Um, there hasn't been any actual fighting or anything, so... Yeah, there was a good example of how small he is. I mean, he's the size of my big Chromus, so... And he seems to like the Antius for some reason. But, uh... Yeah. Anyways, I'm uh, I'm done rambling and stuff. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on it. Um, yeah. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Let me know what you think.